you're early. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to change the main closing loop on your container system. So let's flip the camera and get right to it. Hey, before we start, please hit that like button. It really helps our channel grow. Thank you. Okay, so here we have a wings container system. Obviously this closing loop doesn't need replacing, but I'm, I'm gonna show you how it's replaced. So you basically go behind that little uh, piece of webbing here and you can pull your closing loop out. You can see there's a washer there. Okay, so let's say this is already ripped and it's all frayed and stuff. This is in decent condition, so we're not gonna replace it. Just make sure you're um, making it the same length. That way it's not too uh, short, that is super tight and um, difficult to pin or too loose that actually the pin is gonna be dancing around there. You might have a premature deployment with that. So take the loop out. We take a new closing loop from our little kit here, a little pack. And since this comes with a spare washer, we don't need it since we're reusing the one on the one we took out. So you just basically just take that out and you want to mark the same length here. So what I would do is mark that right there with a pen or marker. That way you know where the knot is. And before you install it, pre-stretch a little bit. So it's about the same length. It doesn't matter if it's a couple of millimeters off. It's just, it just has to be the same length where you put the knot. Remember that the washer is gonna be over that knot. All right, so once you have all that, remember you put your washer back, uh, has to go over the knot. And just go behind, it's a little tricky. You can use a little bit um, like a couple tweezers to grab it. But what I do, I'll just push this in like that. Make sure the washer is sitting flat against the grommet and you're good to go. Different container system tools will have a different way of putting this in. Um, so far, UPT or vector containers have a weird triangle shaped um, a piece of webbing where you have to route this through uh, but again it's all the same basically same principle uh, to change your main closing loop remember make sure you measure make sure you're pre-stretching make sure it's not super loose so that way the pin is not going to be dancing around and uh, the, it's not going to be loose on your container so that's how you change your main closing loop on a wings container yeah, and you can find the uh, replacement closing loops on our website. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below uh, where to find them. It comes in packs of five with a little washer. Please don't lose the washer. Uh, that washer can be reused every time you change your closing loop. So we have, do have these available at shootingstar.com if you wish to place an order for a set. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.